Hi, I'm Xenowave, and today I'm going to show you how I made this sound. Okay, so the main concept behind this sound is just phase cancellation, and we'll get into that soon. So, operator 1 is just a square wave. That's it. <laughs> operator 2 is also a square wave, but I added in these harmonics. For the same reasons as the last video, actually, if we just have, uh, let's just copy this. If we, if we just have another square wave, modeling a square wave, we'll have this. It's not too entertaining, and here's what it sounds like uh, when it's just a square wave. So yeah, I'm just doing this. I'm just doing this FM for timbral purposes. And I have the volume here set to 89% uh, if you type it in. But if you look at the hint bar, it, it'll be a 79%. So that's that. Operator 5 is just a sine wave with some tension, as usual. It's just my uh, separate sub going out. Now I wrap the volume to mod X, and it looks like this. And over in the filter section, I'm using this all pass filter, vanilla all pass to phase cancel uh, this this complex tone, basically. So I route the cutoff to mod X. Now, for the longest time, the all-pass all filter confused the heck out of me because uh, you, you don't, it, it's, it's not intuitive, I guess, to get something out of this filter. But after reading the manual many, 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 many times, I was like, oh, it's just a phase. So that means you have to play it along with uh, the same signal. So basically, uh, how can I say this? Let's just put it in spin back normal. If I have this signal, and I move around the cutoff, nothing happens, because it's just moving the phase. Or rotating the phase. I want to say it. And then if I move it, if I, if I if I play this signal along with the filter signal along with the original signal, I will have some sort of sound, or I should. Yeah, if you look at the spectrogram up here. So yeah, for the longest time, I knew about that. If you take the resonance down, you'll you'll get some more uh, heavier movement. And if you maximize it, it'll be it won't be too obvious. And for a while, I was like, "Huh, that's it." But literally, just today, I with that knowledge, I decided to just take this back, move this uh, operator to to the negative. While well, everything else is, is positive, and then I, I got this result. And then that opened up everything. Um, so, if you got the wave candy, basically what's happening here is let's, let's just explain uh, what's going on. So let's this, just this, this take our separate sub. So right now it's at a, a positive output, meaning that the, the waveform starts out above zero crossing and then ends up below. But if I flip it over, all the, the lows become the highs and the highs become the lows, like this. And as we all know, if I were to take this preset, take this waveform, put it in another operator, and, and flip it, we get no sound at all. Nothing. <laughs> and that's that's really the principle that I'm basing this the sound off of. This is what what's happening um, 
at the at certain frequencies of the sound, which is causing that sweeping motion. And that's really all the, the all pass filter is doing, which is why we have such a, a drastic effect when we make operator one uh, negative in the the filter. So yeah, like this is the the key of the sound right here. Like output your original signal uh, along for your effects as well, because if your effects aren't lined up, it's not going to sound right. So make sure your effects and your in your your main signal are coming out, and then you f you invert the signal basically in your filter section, and you can leave these the same because it just means that whatever's coming out here is just being pushed out here. So if this is negative one hundred percent, this is just gonna push out a negative one hundred percent signal. <laughs> hopefully that wasn't too hopefully that wasn't too uh, verbose, but yeah, that's really the sound. Uh, let's go to the to the effects. I have the default effects on. There's no delay at all. There's no reverb. There's just and this is just the default chorus that you get. So yeah, and just to demonstrate again, to be very clear, if I were to have just uh, this effects, it's gonna sound like a mess, and vice versa. So. Everything has to be lined up perfectly for this to work. And for more clarity, if everything were to have the same uh, inversion, we get that. So invert this phase against the original signal, and you'll have. Your sound. And of course, you can use FM to really develop the sound as needed. Yeah, just kind of randomly. This goes on and on. And as for the automation, um, I know Citrus is pretty old, so the filters can can trip out a little bit. So just a fair warning: if you have uh, zero, so zero to one hundred, and then it drops right, like instantly down to zero again, you can expect some crackling. And I guess the only solution I can think of for that is just. Uh, if you alt and right click, alt and right click, oh my god, okay, right click, <laughs> make a point, click it, and then hold alt, and you can move it around. It's, this should alleviate the clicking. Uh, I know it has for me, but it's really up to you. But the way you FM and, and modulate the sound also helps. Also, also, if you put on global, you get some uh, different timbres as well. Oh, what did I do here? So it's not there. Yeah, so if I put on global, it'll sound like this. Small differences in the sound. And so on. But yeah, that's really all I can explain about the sound, as far as I know. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll answer them, and have an awesome day.